Okay, both of those first two examples we looked at with the quotient rule could have been done without it. Uh, but now we're going to see an example where we really do not have an option. When we had a single denominator, we can break it apart and simplify and work with the individual fractions, a single thing in the denominator. But now that can't be done with the x plus 7. That's the whole denominator there. And so we have to use the quotient rule. This time we have no choice. So here, uh, f prime of x would be the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom function squared. All over the bottom function squared. And so here, uh, we need to go through and do the derivative of x minus 3 and the derivative of x plus 7. Well, the derivative of x minus 3 is just 1. And actually, the derivative of x plus 7 is also 1. So that's actually just going to be x plus 7 minus x minus 3 there on the top. And that bottom, I can just leave as x plus 7 squared. I don't have to, you know, go any further with that. Uh, we could multiply it out, but there's really no need to do so. And now, uh, looking at what's left, we notice, hey, the x's cancel out. And we just have 7 plus 3, which is just 10 over x plus 7 quantity squared. Okay, so that one turned out to be pretty straightforward, not overly complicated, not like the last example uh, where we had a lot of multiplication and stuff that we had to do. So let's turn to another one. This is again an example where we have to use the quotient rule. We don't have an option. Here we have 4x over sine x. 4x over sine x. Uh, we have no choice but to invoke our quotient rule. So that's going to be bottom d top, so sine x times the derivative of 4x. Sine x times the derivative of 4x uh, minus 4x times the derivative of sine x. And I know this might be getting cut off a little bit here, but that's all over sine squared x. Sine squared x. Okay, and so we can go through and work that out. Derivative of 4x here is 4. Derivative of sine x is cosine x. So putting that together, we get 4 sine x minus 4x cosine x all over sine squared x. Now we could break this apart and do 4 sine x over sine squared so that we could get 4 over sine. Uh, and we could rewrite that if we wanted as cosecant. And we can simplify this cosine x over sine squared uh, to get some other expression. Uh, and we could, you know, write that out if we wanted to in that other form. But for now, we're just going to treat that as uh, 4x over sine x. Its derivative is just that stuff. Uh, there's no need unless we were in some kind of problem where it was a multiple cho choice answer. Uh, and this wasn't the answer, but something equivalent to this was the answer. Yeah, then uh, rearranging and simplifying stuff, rewriting stuff would become important. But here, uh, that's the derivative.